Okay, so here I have TerraTerm up and running, terminal emulator program. The DCP port I've configured is 27015. Not Telnet, not secure. So when I connect to my laptop over my ham shack, you can see here um, the FSQ call program that I've modified now responds with a menu. Um, the terminal should be set for local and uh, to send a carriage return the line feed so that, that helps when you're typing so I'm going to put that local okay so you can type test text and press enter to send it so for instance if I want to send a message to NW8L um, hi I hit enter oh, squelch wasn't closed so if the squelch isn't closed I can resend so my squelch over on my laptop is currently set below the noise level obviously. Um, I'm going to reach over and you can't see that. I'm going to raise, raise the uh, squelch level. Um, escape T um, allows me to, to do a retransmit or I can interrupt because right now this message is queued up so I'm going to escape transmit. Okay so this is forcing what was uh, in the transmit pane of the FSQ call to go out. So I've just sent Bob that message. Um, so that's how you just simply send stuff. Um, there's also to send CQ is escape Q. So I can say escape Q. Um, at any point in time, if you want to interrupt, you just hit escape and hit enter, and that will interrupt the transmit and put the FSQ call program back into receive mode. Um, to get the herd list, escape dollar sign, uh, the dollar sign being the trigger, right, for herd list. So it comes back, FSQ call comes back and tells me it's currently empty. I can query the FSQ call status with escape F, question mark. So it comes back and tells me FSQ call is on. I can toggle it on and off. So let me toggle FSQ call mode back. So escape F. Now it's toggled off. Now you can see now a couple characters came in because um, this is non-directed mode now. And um, when characters come in breaking the squelch, they just get printed. So I'm going to drop the squelch level over on my FSQ Cal program. Uh, let's see. Nothing's coming in with valid characters right now. See some stuff coming in as I make noise. <laughs> okay, bad demo. okay, I'm going to put it back to um, FSQ mode now. Okay, so I'm back to um, directed mode. Um, escape question gets the menu back if it scrolls away. The next thing is query the sound, sounding status. So escape S question mark tells me the sounding is off. I can put sounding on. Escape sounding toggles it to on. Now if I do escape sounding question mark it is indeed telling me it is on. Um, it didn't sound because my, again, my squelch level is up over my rig. It'd be nice to have a command I guess to see what the squelch level is. Now if I had somebody to talk to I could show you how it, uh, how it works I'm talking with people but um, I guess that's it for now. Let me uh, query somebody else here. Let's see S7 Okay, see if Tom's around, check his signal to noise ratio on my signal. Nobody? Let me try sending uh, CQ. Escape Q is CQ. Call CQ. So there's a bunch I could add to the escape sequences. I increase the baud rate, lower the baud rate, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Move the squelch level up and down, check the squelch level. So um, those are some of the things I'm thinking about adding on here. But this is basically what I wanted, so now I can 
free myself from the ham shack, sit up in my office and, uh, and monitor stuff uh, as it comes in. There you can see a timestamp that just got posted. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.